What's up guys, Hong Nguyen here for OG Fitness and in today's video I want to talk about how to bulletproof your knees. So if this is your first time to the channel, welcome. Uh, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Thank you very much, let's dive right in. So I'm going to show you guys the exercises first. And then I'm gonna talk about like the little details that's gonna make all the difference, okay? So these exercises here that I'm doing, which I did today, this morning, help to strengthen all the stabilizing muscles uh, around your knee and in your leg, okay? So it's very important to do this that way and to work them at different angles so that, so you bulletproof your knees. Because a lot of the injuries, they happen when the knee is bent and twisted. So it's either twisting, like your foot is planted on the floor, your knee is slightly bent or really bent, and it's either caved in, caving in like that, or twisting out like that. So that's where most of the injuries happen, okay? So that's why these exercises work your, your legs, your tendons, and all the stabilizing muscles in a, at a different angle, so that you're much more, um, injury uh, proof okay to when you're on the field or when you're playing your your when you're doing your martial arts when you're kicking uh, when you're doing jiu-jitsu judo and stuff like that so let's get right into it now I don't have any equipment here but you're gonna need equipment so if you have a you need dumbbells and a cable machine so if you have a cable machine let's say you go to the gym let's say my cable machine is on this side right here Okay, you want to bring down that, uh, for lack of a better word, that thing there. So you bring down the thing all the way down, and so that's where the cable is at, at ground level now. Then you attach a ankle strap to your ankle. Let's say you attach it to this ankle right here. And you bring it inside, like this. So you know, I just want to step further here so you guys can see. You see my foot here is slightly off the ground, and I'm bringing it in. So I do 10 like this, turn around, the strap is still on the same ankle. Now, I bring it inside. Oh, sorry, outside. <laughs> outside, outside, okay? So you do the one inside and the one outside. You do 10 inside, 10 outside, so that's one set. We're doing supersets here, okay? So you do three supersets of these, uh, these two exercises. Once you're done with that, we go into the lunges. So now you lunge forward, one leg, the other leg, you do that 10 times on each leg. Now we go to the other exercise, okay, which is uh, we're doing back lunges. So you're backing up. So you're going like this, going like this, going like that, okay? So that's one set, one super set, you do that three times. Now, the last exercise is the last two exercises, sorry, that you're gonna superset. It's called a plie. So, a plie, what it, it's French for bending, essentially. So, you bring a leg to the side like this, lift it off the ground slightly, hold your dumbbells here, cross it, come down. You see, like, you're gonna notice that it works your leg. At a very different angle and slightly twisting too so then you do and then on the other side bring it back boom down boom down so you do 10 on each side once you're done with that you go right next you go next uh, to the next exercise right away because you're super setting the next the next exercise is a diagonal lunge so you step diagonally the, foot, the leg that's in front, the foot that's in front has to be pointing in front. The back foot slightly pivots and then you go down. Come back, boom, diagonal, pivot, come down. So you do these two exercises one after the other and you do three sets also. And that's it, that's essentially it. So a couple of details regarding these exercises, okay? When you go down, you always go down slower than when you go up. Okay, so the eccentric part of the movement, three seconds, guys, three seconds or more. And then when you come up, explode up. Take a second or maximum two, I guess. You know, so essentially, like 
If I'm here, I'm coming down, take your time. Count to three, one, two, three, and then pop back up as fast as you can, okay? So those are a couple of details that you have to do. Also, two minutes between each superset. Rest two minutes, and then do, do your next set. So if you do that, guys, you're gonna see your legs are gonna be fried in ways that, um, that you haven't felt in a very long time, or maybe even you never felt uh, in your life. And you go through, what I'm doing personally is I'm gonna go through about uh, maybe four weeks, eight weeks, or maybe six, I haven't decided yet, but, uh, and you're, pre you're prepping your joints, your ligaments, and all the stabilizing muscles so that after that you could go on to more um, other bigger exercises and with heavier load, okay? Because you can't, um, you can't shoot a cannon out of a canoe, okay? Uh, Charles Poliquin said that, and what that means is that even if you have the strength, but you don't have the stability, then that strength, that power is kind of useless. You know, you're not able to stabilize, so like you can't really generate that much power. And for us as martial artists, we want to, and even as, if you're not a martial artist, but if you're listening to this channel, most likely you are, then you know, you want to be able to generate power, okay? So to do that, you have to be able to stabilize, okay? Then you develop strength, okay? Because if you develop strength, but you're not stable enough, well, you're just, you're not gonna be able to generate as much power and you're gonna end up injured at one point, right? So that's it for this video, guys. Uh, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below and I'll answer them. If you like the video, of course, give it a thumbs up and of course, share the video. It helps, out, helps, the, well, helps the channel grow. So thank you very much for that. And um, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.